Backing up your WordPress website is a great way to protect your assets or your clients' assets, and so it's super important to do. However, there's a problem that it takes so long to do it. So I'm gonna show you two ways right now. The first way I'm gonna show you is the way I do it, which is what I'm doing right now. This uses a paid plugin that I absolutely love, not just because I'm an affiliate for it, but because I've been using it for the past four years and had absolutely no problems with it whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. And then the other way is you manually do it, which I'll show you how to do, which is what I used to do years ago. And you can skip to that, uh, what's shown on the screen right now, the timestamp, if you don't want to use a paid plugin. Um, but for, for the process of this video, let's just see this. So I basically just clicked on that. It's done this. Now I click download. And that's literally all there is to it. So that's downloading now. I'll just pull this up and you can see right here. That's downloading. Um, and when that's done, I've got a full backup. So that backs up your database and all of your files into one place. And then if you ever want to actually put this back, so let's say something goes wrong with this website, you can just go ahead and come into um, Restore Migrate, download what's called Import Buddy, uh, stick that on the server, create your, two, you know, your database, and then you put this in through FTP, and then it will upload. It's really easy to do. Um, and that's literally all there is to it. So that's downloading right now. That will be done in the two seconds and that's literally it so if you want to go ahead and get this I'll just show you now what you need to do okay so if you click on the link in the description of this video it's going to take you through to the exact one I use and then if you click on this buy backup buddy button right here it will take you through to the part where you select your package you want to choose the gold package because the gold one means you get to use unlimited websites so that means if you've got a hundred clients you can have them all on there without paying anything more um, there's no monthly fee it's a one-off payment you can pay for um, like support but I think you get a year for free at least I did anyway um, I'm pretty sure they still do that now and that's really helpful for that first year I mean I haven't actually needed support since because all of the sort of mistakes were my mistakes but they're, they're really good they'll help you with that so you want to go ahead buy that choose gold for sure because otherwise you're just going to need to come back and buy it later anyway and then once you finish doing that you go through to you'll have your login uh, right here you'll log in and you go to downloads and then you want to go into backup buddy and click on download and then that's basically just going to download it doesn't take very long and once that's done you want to go to your website and then go to plugins add new and then upload plugin and then if we go to downloads we see right here I just need to refresh this it's still downloading by the look of it okay there we go so if we just basically move this over and then I can drag that into there and let go, click install now. Okay, now we just go ahead and click on activate plugin. And now that's set up. So the last thing we want to do is go backup buddy, settings, and then go to licensing and then we want to put in basically whatever our login details were on this so this is wrong it's whatever we just signed up with and then click license and now it should say like that license products and got backup buddy in there active and now if we go to backup buddy the last thing we have to do is just go to the bottom and click skip setup and now we can do what I showed you just now so this is actually quite a big website this is a mass page website that I built so this might take a bit longer but we'll see so complete backup this is the part I would have thought would have took a while because there's a lot of file a lot of um, database entries Okay, so that's it all done. So this site's actually a lot bigger than I realized because it created a bunch of images when I was using Page Generator Pro. But that's 359 megabyte. We can just click download and then we can save this locally here. So that's how you use Backup Buddy. If you want to do that, as I say, you can. If not, I'm going to now show you the way you can manually do this and we'll go through that now. Okay, so the very first thing we've got to do is download all of the physical files from the website. And there's two ways of doing that, but if you want to be as secure as we were in the previous method using the plugin, we need to use FTP. So we can get them through File Manager, but the problem is sometimes the files won't download properly. And 
um, your browser won't be able to give you back that information whereas the FTP client can so we want to create an FTP account now hopefully you've already done this it's pretty straightforward you just want to create it and set it to the domain remember the password um, I've already skipped this step because it's it should be fairly straightforward um, so I've done that and logged in so as you can see we're on the website right now and what we want to actually do is when we're in the root directory so the, the directory that has all of the WordPress files in there and you'll know it's the root because it will have WP content WP includes WP admin inside that folder we want to grab all of these files right here so what I've done is I've actually got a temporary folder on my desktop and I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to call it website backup and then click refresh and it should hopefully come in here uh, website backup here we go and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these folders and then do hold control and press A so that selects all of the files in here and folders and then I'm just going to simply drag from that side over to the right side and let, and let go and as you can see on the bottom left here it says queued files 230 odd and it's just going to go through and download them all now what's important is we take note of successful transfers and failed transfers if there's anything in the failed transfers uh, we want to make sure that we get those files so go in find them and then paste them over there shouldn't be but what can happen is your connection can be interrupted and that's really common even if you're on a leased line or something like that it can still happen uh, which is why I don't like going through the cPanel and getting it through file manager um, and if that does happen it will show in their failed transfers and you'll know okay I need this file otherwise what will happen is your website will break or something about it will start to break and it's a situation you definitely don't want to be in so um, let's just let this run out okay I'm gonna go actually go ahead and stop this now because it's taking far too long and I've got to get on a call in a minute but let's imagine that all of those files were successfully downloaded it said that there's you know sort of 3,000 odd more to go um, so let's just imagine that they was all done and if you left it long enough they would all be done um, the next step after that is to go into your WP config file and we need to now find the database name basically so as you can see right here it's got DB name and it says Danners underscore WRDP 11 so we need to now find this inside our PHP my admin which is back in the C panel so if we head back over to the C panel and we go to PHP my admin which is right here just gonna double check it was 11 uh, 11 yep and then on the left side we want to click on this plus to get all of the different ones you can see I've got loads in here and this is the one right here at the bottom so that's the same as what we just found in WP config so we want to click on that and then what we want to do is click on this export and then we want to leave this as quick and make sure this is uh, SQL and then we just want to go ahead and click on go and that's going to download that's really not going to take very long because that's going to be considerably smaller and then once we've got that file what we'd want to do is actually put that file in a folder and then put the other folder we just created from um, FileZilla in there as well so we'd have the database and all those files that we just downloaded um, separate and the reason for that is is because if we ever need to um, install this on a new server so to sort of move it or um, use this as a recovery file uh, it will be a lot easier for us to see which files are which so if you did want to go down this route there's a script I think it's called Eris E R I S D S I believe it's called um, that helps you fix the uh, different URL issues and stuff like that you get from migrating WordPress it's been absolutely ages since I've used it you can obviously see why I use the plugin um, with how long this stuff takes um, but that was what I used to use and that used to help so you can find that I honestly wouldn't bother with all this stuff anymore at all because when you sort of contrast the 1 minute 15 seconds it took to do a backup this way to the getting on 20 minutes it was taking to go down this route it's an obvious no brainer and that's why most agencies freelancers people like that are using backup buddy now uh, instead of manually doing it now there are other backup plugins you can get for WordPress there's a free one called Akiba backup you can try 
Uh, again, I wouldn't advise it. We used to, so a company that I work with, I've got, I do the SEO, they are a web design company pr predominantly, and I do the SEO. Um, they had a fairly large e-commerce site, and this was a keeper for Joomla, to be fair, not WordPress, but it always put me off it. Um, they used to do the backups, maintenance, all that sort of stuff, and one day something went wrong with the server, and it wasn't a hack or anything like that, it was just something happened at the, the hosting company's end, and the company said, the, the e-commerce company said, you know, can we roll back to one of our backups? And when they tried to do it, the backup was corrupted. So there was some integrity check or something that the keeper weren't doing by default. Um, and Backup Buddy does do that when we looked into it after. So it didn't work. Basically, the, obviously the company weren't happy because they'd been paying £55 a month for the backups. And when they actually needed one, it didn't work. So... Um, they lost the client for development. I still do their SEO and marketing, but they lost that project. So from there on out, I don't ever have a keyboard on any of my projects. I always have Backup Buddy. So that's why I would advise using it personally. And then obviously just for the speed as well. I mean, your time has got to be worth more than, you know, whatever this is, a one-off payment that's going to mean you can do it in a couple of minutes for the rest of your life. So yeah, I would advise getting Backup Buddy. If you do want to, links in the description. If you like this video, hopefully you learned something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more and I will see you in the next one.